Oh yeah, oh yeah. But like, I started out on Endeavor because I thought, oh, this is pretty pretty neat. Like it has like this stuff. I got to try out Wayland on it. I got to try out KDE on it. Then I always felt like something was like a little off with it, especially when the laptop froze. So I was like, I kind of kind of wonder what happened. And this is like, I think I installed it like two or three times, and it kept I kept somehow breaking something on it. So I was like, what other OS can I use? Like, I don't want to use Ubuntu. Uh, it's like, uh, it uses snaps and stuff. So I was like, let me try Linux Mint and see what happens with that. And I started using it like, oh my God, this is like Windows 7, but better. That is definitely Without the, the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the design they go for. Um... For better or worse, right? Like, I, I've talked yeah. about, like, the concern of doing something to Windows-like for someone who's new to Linux, because yeah. you can fall into the trap of thinking it is Windows. Like, especially in oh, the cases yeah. where people, you know, install Linux for someone else. It's obviously different if you do it for your own system, but, you know, you'll, you'll see people online be like, oh, I yeah. installed Linux for my parents' computer, and it's like... If you put Mint or Zorin, like it looks Windowsy, and I get yeah. that like people might feel familiar with it, but there's things they might try to do that don't work, and then you're gonna have to deal with more tech support, and just don't be tech support for your family. It's not worth oh, the yeah. effort. Oh, yeah. So like I've actually used Linux way before then, mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't I wasn't like really daily driving it. Like that's when I started to daily drive it, mm -hmm. like all the way back when I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. I, I would somehow mounted a Zorin OS ISO, because mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was, onto my sister's computer, and I installed it via Power ISO, and it just installed, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then she was like, what happened to my Windows? It's like, it's uh, different now. <laughs> Did you then nuke I... <laughs> the data on it, or was that safe? <laughs> Everything was gone. Okay, that's the, <laughs> that's the real concern. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, she used it after all. She said it was okay to watch YouTube videos on back then. Mm -hmm. And then before that, it was like when I was in like uh, community college, I was like trying out Ubuntu to see what it was. And this was like back in 2016. This was like old Ubuntu stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, ah, I'm not vibing with this one right now. Do but then know, like do after you know what version that was, oh, I think it was. Actually, I don't remember what version it was. It was very old though. Okay. It's... I remember a purple screen and maybe an animal on it, but they all have the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, if it's purple, it's got to be... Um, I think it's got to be post, like, 16, 17, something like that. Because uh, there was a period where the, everything was brown, then everything was yeah. orange, and now everything's purple. But I don't remember when they swapped to purple. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old version, uh, yeah. but it's not like you're not talking like warty wart hog old. <laughs> oh no, no. It's not like you're trying to go into distro C and then you go in the the the, the, the uh the DE called sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's a that's a DE that exists, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was laughing my ass off when that was happening when people oh. when uh Vinny showed me that. Let's see if I can find a picture of it. Because I, I imagine there's a lot of people that don't... Oh, right, there's a Fedora spin of uh, Sugar. I forgot about that. It's on... It's on Trisquel Linux. Pick Sugar, and then you'll just... Uh, and then, then there you go. Okay, <laughs> That's like sure. It. Yeah. Honestly, is, I uh, should it, I should do like a proper video on on sugar at some point. Oh yeah, That'd be funny. It's very uh, it's very different, and I wasn't expecting what I was looking at. <laughs> And okay. I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't... It, look, I'm sure it's it's fine for the people that use it, maybe. <laughs> or, like, the use yeah. case it has, but... <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe... Linux has some funny stuff going on. Mm -hmm. the behind the scenes, everybody's like, Cinnamon, Pop! OS, uh, Cosmic, and then KDE. But we, we don't know anybody who uses Sugar yet, and we should be afraid. I, honestly, I'm sure there's one person in my audience that actually uses it. I've seen yeah. there, there's people who've been like, "Yeah, I use like TWM, which is a window manager from the '90s, and it hasn't uh. been updated since about the '90s." 
<laughs> well, yeah, as long as it's stable and it works, it, that, that's all that matters, really. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised, yeah. but you know, Exorg, Exorg's pretty much solid. So <laughs> as yeah, long as you yeah. can, that's what I use. As long as you can compile it and like your C compiler doesn't break it, you're probably gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I kind of yeah. sidetracked you. You were talking about Ubuntu, oh. one of the purple versions. Oh yeah, it was one of the purple versions back then, and I was like, oh, this kind of isn't my thing. I was just using Windows from that point on for like a while, so like Seven Ultimate, Windows Ten. But then, like when Windows Eleven was coming out, um, I, I noticed that they were releasing a thing called Recall, and I, <laughs> the first thing I do is when I see it, I quote tweet it like, "This is spyware. I don't want spyware." Yeah, yeah, I felt and pretty then, much the same way. <laughs> And then there was like some YouTube recently starting to circulate, which is something that I had a theory on mm -hmm. to where Windows was actually screwing with updates to make it as if you're to make you they were actually taking away updates in that point mm -hmm. where it was causing your computer to become less stable. And I was noticing that because I was like, my computer was flipping out after it updated once. I was like, what's going on with this? Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to wait until October. I'm going to install Linux Mint on my main system. So, because by then, I was like, I think it was like April into May. By then, I was like getting everything going. So I've already like ended up experimenting with it. And by the time I had it all going and I had it going right, I started to think about like, okay, well, I got all this information from all these different sources. Why wasn't it all and not in one spot? Mm -hmm. And then I started writing a guide. Mm. And uh, it got very interesting from there. <laughs> So, what was it about Mint that grabbed you? Because obviously there's about a ton of other distros. Like if you go from Arch to basically anything, it's going to feel a lot, you know, easier to do things. But, like, yeah. obviously there's, like, the Windowsy look to Cinnamon, but was there anything else to it? Yeah. Uh, the One of the main things is, like, unlike uh, using, like, a distribution like Ubuntu, like, if you use Ubuntu, that's fine, if mm -hmm. it's good for your use case. But since I like to use Mint... Um, I notice a lot of these websites, whenever they are like sending out, like making an app like Fightcade, for example, mm -hmm. they're not going to give you an AUR package. Somebody else is going to have to make that. Right. And maybe, I don't know what the deal with the Fedora is, but that might be similar. But the, the official people will either supply a fat, flat pack, which works on all distros, mm -hmm. at least are modern, or they'll supply you with an app image. And these mm -hmm. sites that do that make it more compatible for people to use computers like that that don't already have it figured out via the AUR or whatever Fedora is using mm -hmm. as far as like DNF packages go. Um, yeah. With, uh, with, <laughs> it's just, uh, with Fedora, they do yeah. have a thing called Copper, which is like... Oh. It, it's, it's sort of a mix of AUR and uh, PPAs from Ubuntu. Um, oh. <clears throat> where... People make like the it's it's users that make the package like the AUR, mm -hmm. but you get to build the package on Fedora's infrastructure, so it's not being built locally. So it's a it's a little bit different, but it serves pretty much the same purpose. Um, and then Ubuntu, if we we're talking like five or so years ago, PPAs were a lot more popular for distributing oh, yeah. like packages like this. Like there was a time oh, where yeah. if you wanted to use Wine on Ubuntu and have an up-to-date version, you would get it from the Wine PPA. I think they've moved it now to something else. But yeah, like that was the way you would do it then. But other systems have come oh. across which are more like universal. So it makes more sense for things to just be using those instead. Oh yeah, definitely. Because like when I was trying to install a game called Wargus, which is basically like a decompiled Warcraft one, ah. it said to use the PPA for your system. And I was mm. like, what? <laughs> this won't work on this system. Mm -hmm. I'm using, uh, I'm using Ubuntu Noble as, as technically. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, all right, what do I do? It's like, I could decompile it. I, I, I eventually just was like, okay, I'm just going to download the mod for Warcraft three and just do it that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's play Warcraft one through that. Um, I am kind of interested in using Fedora, which mm -hmm. is why I have an extra computer, which I did talk about before mm -hmm. um, in your Discord. Mm -hmm. That uh, that was I was gonna do that once I got all that figured out to have like a like a living room PC or something. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, that does that does seem a little interesting to me. But like right now, like as far as like daily driving goes, like Linux Mint is just what I'm using. Mm 